Hello there, I'm Aldra Hill. Welcome back to some Hearts of Iron 4. Kaiserreich, we're the American Union State. We have managed to defeat the USA in by by Christmas. Oh my god, by Christmas! Victory by Christmas, guys! Now we just gotta push past the Pacific States of America and warp their faces. Look at the factories we have right now, guys. That is... Ah. Bellissima. Bellissima. Let's start um, chucking some more dudes here. Get some more factories up in this crib. Uh, anywhere that's got good stuff where we want to build them. There's some 70s here. Nice. Love it. Every division of militia. We're just going to let these guys kind of uh, pans around in. Pans around in. I don't know. That's okay. They're gonna be. It's going to take a little while to do so, but once our troops are over there, we can begin our assault. It's going to be really beautiful, guys. Mobile defense has just been researched. Fantastic. And now we have a choice between integrated support and dispersed support. I do have the idea of building um, line artillery in my unit, so I'm actually going to go um, dispersed support for that line artillery recovery rate and soft attack. Because it could be fun. Oh, I do like tanks, though. No, let's go integrated support for the tanks. Let's do it. We're going to build those bonuses up, guys. Rocky Mountain Ceasefire. Let's talk, let's talk about sending a temporary ceasefire for the rebels in the west. While an unpopular move, all the Kingfisher can his hold and other men to rest and recover. We shall march this to the Pacific, my friend. Absolutely not. Would it be better just upgrading the militia template? Um, no, because you want to fight in terms of 10, in widths of 10. So if I, the only way it makes sense is to go from 10 to 20. If I went from 10 to 20 right now, let's take a look. Oh. Alright, let's go, let's get infantry. If we added, you know, extra five infantry, I'd be dead. I'd be dead. So I, I, you want to do it in terms of tens. So let's do this thing. Okay, guys, we really do need you to reposition quickly, please. We're actually losing territory. Could you hurry the hell up? Follow Burgo. Yeah. Kind of frustrating. Honestly. The quicker you get there, the faster we can go. Because at the moment, if, if you're doing strategic redeployment, strategic redeployment is meant to represent like using trains, isn't it? Because that's why it has a railway track. And if it's march, that means they're literally walking. So the soldiers when they refuse to march are literally actually marching. Walking across the country. Ridiculous. Hey, fine chief. What is up, my man? How you doing? We have militia infantry. It still wouldn't matter. It's still too much to deal with. If it's still too many, I don't have enough infantry equipment for that to make it worthwhile. For now, anyway. I just realized that now it would make sense to actually recruit, um, to actually recruit proper infantry divisions. That'd make a lot more sense. There we go. Beautiful. I uh, see CC is already dead. Great. Yep. Please go play. I will indeed be going for Pelly as I figure out how I do that. Police crackdown. Boom. Or we're on volunteer only, so we could go to limited conscription. That might not be a terrible plan. The extra pop would be really good, but also early mobilization. I think I want early mobilization for those consumer goods. Oh yeah. There we go. Get back those factories. Give me those factories. All right. Um, anywhere else that's above 60? Nope, nowhere above 60. So boop and boop. Let's get these repairs on, on the way down because we really don't care about them. Tell you what, though, I will rush those rush through those uh, civilian factory repairs because that just means everything gets done faster. All right, you need to accept Silver Legion support during the Civil War, and afterwards just always favor Pelly. Yep, I did. I, I did indeed accept Silver Legion support during the Civil War. So that means I probably will go for Pelly. Awesome. All right. What we're going to do is we're going to delete this, because I don't like the way that front line looks. Stop. Stop that. Whatever. 
God damn it. I just just go to the capital. Just go to the goddamn capital. Perfect. There's a really sexy portrait. Ooh, exciting. Alright, we did really good. I don't understand why this is not in the correct thing. The hell, man. Come on. It won't... Ah! Rural Democratic Front victorious in uh, Greece. Land of the Greeks. Greece declared war looks like social public. Fair enough. Where's the mod to tool to force a fine shift to change name color? I don't know. Integration of New England. Rebellious states of New York are firmly integrated into our motherland. Gain Maine and upstate New York. Lose 60 political power. Do I... Do I have to? Like, the core doesn't really mean anything to me, man. Oh, no, it's actually core manpower, actually. No, so it, is, it does actually mean quite a lot. Never mind. I'm sorry. Fair enough, fair enough. Uh, new weapons is done. Fantastic. None of these are unlocked yet because the Civil War is still going on. That's fine. Okay, so now we're going to go down towards this. So support brigades. Train officers. Voice war support and army experience. We made the bold decision to train officers in the hostile swamplands of Paris Island. Classrooms may not be as well equipped in the West Point, but our officers will receive an education hard knocks that will improve America's worth more than its, its blah, 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 blah. All right, boys. Can you get that plan bonus? Oh. Hello? Just take it, I guess. Let's do it. Now we work on pushing them back. Tanks are almost done. And I think we could probably dedicate some tanks towards them. Because we have so much artillery. Like, a lot of artillery. But I think we could probably do this. Let's start working on motorized now. We just got the Stuart. Let's start getting motorized. Let's start getting the Stuart. I don't believe I can get the next tank. For yeah, not until 39. That's fine. Let's get 38, the uh, computer machinery. Actually, no. Let's get the... Do I want this? Like infantry soft... Yeah, like infantry soft attack. Let's get that. So let's start working on the new tank arenas. Let's get the Stuarts. We're going to give it twos. And we're going to give it out. Call the Alferner because of his subscription. Thank you, Alferner. We'll give it... I could, we could give it three, actually. We can't afford that. That's fine. We'll give it two. We could give it one in reliability. Another in main gun. We're pretty good. And another in, like, engines or something. Because they don't have any armor, so that's fine. Perfect. The Alferner tank. Love it. We don't have enough guns for you, but here's a tank. Yeah! That's what I want to see. So we're going to go down all the way there. Beautiful. And we honestly do not need this much stuff. So let's get one of those off. So now we need some rubber. If we can get that from Canada or Mexico, it would be great. But no. Actually, now there's no one destroying our navy. So we can get it from whoever the hell we want. Hell yeah. So now we can just start mass grinding out tanks. And to be honest... We're fine, so let's do that. What's going on? Where, where's my import? Who's destroying my stuff? They do not have a navy. Oh, they do. They got navies. A bit confused, though, why I'm not able to get that, because I'm importing it from Germany. Call this 15 bits. Thank you very much for the 15 bits, man. We appreciate that. For really changing color, sadly, a Twitch Prime feature. If I were on Twitch Prime, I would change something and change it back afterwards. Since I no longer have Twitch Prime, I'd be unable to change it back. That's fair, fine, Chief. That's not the emote visualization I want. <laughs> Thank you for the 15 bits, Colin. I really appreciate that. All right, looks like we're doing really good on this little front position here. I think we're, we're ready to go. I think we've built up a really nice, gigantic pile of... You know what, let's just use command power and just get everyone ready for, for plan. Oh, everyone already, has, everyone already has planning. Okay. Let's engage. Let's go. Oh, God damn it! they've already encircled us. All right, go to Cheyenne, go there. Ba, 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 ba. 
And I can basically manually control every single one of my attacks. Because I very much want to have that complete control. Good stuff. So basically how it works, how the idea is, how I play the tune, oh yeah. So what you want to do when you want to do an attack, so as you can see here, I got a couple provinces that I want to go for. I've set one in support of here. These guys are attacking there because I know, I have not sent any to support this attack because I know these three guys can only hit them. So there's no reason to add another front. Over here, what I'm going to do is add one troop there to balance that out. Actually, I'm going to add two, sorry. So we have two from here and one from there, me giving a three to one. Yeah, I can out industry PSA. This is this is going to be a slam dunk. I'm going to attack from there because these two guys can only attack from this. I'm trying to get three on every province. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to send these two guys can only attack Minneapolis. I will send one up here and another one up here with an additional this way. I'm going to send one more from this front here to attack Minneapolis because these guys are taking over a river and it means their attack's not going to be as effective. So I will then split my forces a little bit more and send one that way and two that way. These guys are going to basically go along here. But I have a lot of troops on this position, so we're going to just try and uh, organize things a little bit. I'm trying to make sure everything is equal here, you know. Wait, can they, can they not go there? There we go. Perfect. The attack has begun. Um, I, I, I envision this being a huge slam dunk. You should be able to out the piece. Yeah, I think so. It's looking really good. We have so much equipment right now, it's ridiculous. Um, I am trying to recruit more and more infantry, which is the goal. Get a nice, nice big chunk of infantry together. I mean, I have so much artillery as well. And then what I'm going to do is I'll very slowly transition the infantry that I do have over to um, the militia I have into infantry. And also some of them into tanks as well. Yeah, as you can see, this is going through the rebellion in the rebellion in Yemen. The veil could cause tremendous damage to the already struggling Ottoman Empire. Large sections of the Arabian Peninsula were cut off from the sublime ports of rule for years. The success of the Arab Revolt. Mystique joined the Cairo Pact. Many years, Yemen is most in its own affairs. The Sultan's gaze fixed firmly in its own domestic troubles. With conflict erupting the Suez and across the Holy Land, Yemen is once more cut off from the bulk of the army, taking advantage of the opportunity to perhaps combined with perceptible weakness in the Ottoman state. The Imam has publicly declared the creation of a new independent kingdom. Oh man. So yeah, that's it. Um, we're now pushing really deeply. With that prep you can only select one of the few premium colors. Oh, okay. Oh my god, look at that. They literally have like 25 divisions. Yeah, we're fine. We are fine. Oh yeah, that's good. That's good. Train officers completed. Let's get support brigades so I can get that, and then I can get on to research slots. We'll finally be able to start providing infrastructure and planning to provide combat support brigades in the field. Through coordinating our intelligence network and scouting and surveillance systems, we are able to ensure that non-combatant combat elements in battle are accounted for and able to complete their tasks. Yeah. Watch out not to overextend. They have so few divisions that it's seriously not a problem. Like, it is not a concern that I am going to be overextended. Like, look at this. I'm going to send this dude all the way to the west. Soviet Republic of Honduras joined the Revolutionary Front. What? My goodness. Um, we got we're doing work on doctrines. Let's get some fighter production going as well. So do you not have Amazon Prime? Amazon Prime is great. It's really useful. As you can see, my forces are moving pretty handily. Um, we are experiencing some losses though, which is unfortunate. I do envision losing equipment eventually. Is this where are you guys going? Come on. When you research the Sherman tank, can you name it the colonist tank instead? If I remember, sure, buddy. That's on 1941. Not gonna be on this stream, buddy. Since you've been doing bits. Ah, oh, wrong. Look at you. My friend, Army Group 2, please. Please! It's the colonist group. It's the col oh I told your name. It's the colonist army. And we have army experience, so we can uh, upgrade this dude. Get a guerrilla fighter. Entrenchment speed. I don't want that. Panzer expert is the thing I do want, though. Yes. He doesn't get the Sherman. I do indeed get the Sherman. Yeah, I do get the Sherman. Okay, and let's keep working on these things here. Can we see your tank research trees? Absolutely, Effa. So, uh, it looks to be pretty standard German stuff, uh, American stuff. The, ca the cha Chaffee, the M3 Lee, the Sherman, the T-20. There's a T1 Heavy, the M6A9, the Pershing, and the Patton, and the 45s, and the T95 is the Super Heavies. Plane-wise, uh, the Hawk 
P39, the P4051 Mustangs, the Olympians, the Banshees, pretty standard stuff, the P38 Lightlings, the Thunderbolts, the Tiger Cats, this looks like the standard American. Yeah, it's all standard. You don't like the design? They are pretty ugly, honestly. Oh man, look at this, we're just blitzing through, man. Soft attack and de organizational defenses, nice. I think I probably need to turn down some of these attacks because I'm gonna run out of equipment eventually. And also manpower. Never liked the American tanks in World War II. Oh, that's a shame. Once we get all our manpower back, it's all gonna be gravy. Yeah, these guys are they're gonna be in, these are they're in trouble. Oh yeah, they have like no strength. We're fine. Yeah, we're fine. Let's just send troops to the capital. I mean really. Let's just let's just do it. Go to Olympia. You guys go to Portland. You guys go to San Francisco. <laughs> and then just go on full speed. They're extremely weak. Yeah, no, this is it's a little sad, honestly. The primary reason they're so weak is they just don't have a lot of factories. Um, they have nine military factories. So this is the thing. This isn't actually that intense. It's not got a lot because like this bit's good. And there's stuff in Seattle a little bit. But all this is just garbage. Just resource heavy. That's it. It's just pure garbage. So recruits weapon protection. We're an independent report published in the Houston Chronicle explains poor working conditions as well as man receiving kickbacks for underperforming. This is intolerable as loyalty to American values of hard work and rewarding wages demanded. Six mil factories, baby. Yeah. So I, I literally just need to sit quietly and just enjoy. Enjoy the, the slaughter. PSA is the weakest break off. It is indeed, yeah. They'll, they'll get done within a few months, I think. Then it's just working on, you know, the focus trees. Putting uh, some troops on the border of Mexico and on the folk the border of Canada, just in case. Garbage factors, the industrial heartland developing. You can put those resources to use. Absolutely, yeah. This is the thing. This is the reason why the Pacific Coast is so poor is because the, the, the value of these areas is their resources, right? There's steel, there's tungsten, there's aluminium. There is actually decent resources that can be used to fuel industrial bonuses. The problem is, is the idea breaks away because it has, there's more steel up here and in the east as well. But it's still useful. And there's tungsten as well. It's the only tungsten in America is over there. So the fact that there's that tungsten in the Pacific State area is really useful. And if you're in a drawn out fight, using that tungsten to your advantage is actually really useful. But oh my god, am I importing tungsten right now? I am. Jesus. Oh, thank you. Um, yeah, I'm still not allowed to take anything from just your solution, which is weird. Oh, because I'm importing it from just oh, I'm importing it from Indonesia. I need to get it from Germany. That's better. God. Yeah, definitely focusing on tanks after the war. As you can see, I am very much obliterating them. They have no forces. They also, it's not its not extremely populous either. This is the thing. They don't actually have a huge amount of population. A couple hundred thousand at most. I mean, I didn't know either, but I, I have over 300,000 recruitable pop. So I can just use that to my advantage and look at that. They have like nothing. I'm, I've taken about 60,000 casualties in the fight against them. And about 40,000 have been them in the, in the past few months. Uh, and we're getting a lot of factories right now. A lot of light tanks. A lot of motorized. Yeah. Let's try and work on some support uh, equipment as well. Just try and get a few of that, because I am going to want to chuck in some of that later. So I'm losing a little bit of equipment, but it's seriously not a problem. Oh man, this is tragic. This is really tragic. I'm not even controlling it anymore. Most of the carriages probably are coming from the fight against the CSA. So, no, no, yeah, the, most of these carriages are the CSA. Uh, no, they're not. That's the American Union State, 295. Damn. All right. Boom. Yeah, because this is actually my specific, because it counts as a second a separate war. Yours isn't looking good, no, but once I get the coring together, it'll be fine. I've only lost a couple hundred, like 100,000 men in this war, to be honest. Increased weapons production. Boom. Now I want to go towards army bonus builds. We need army ranger core. Let's get walkie talkies. Usually military equipment has strong names. Walkie talkie? How'd that slip through the system? Our generals claim that this new untethered communication device allows our troops to speak effectively when they're in the field. And we called it walkie talkie? Who knows? So there's more facts as factories. Well, let's start cracking out some light tanks together. Get some of that stuff. If you want to challenge trying to win the ACU as the USA, that's actually a bit of a challenge. It is. It is a big challenge. I have done it before, actually. Uh, it's primarily a defensive. The way, the way One of the ways I did it before is you kind of retreat to a heartland, 
um, and you use this river here a little bit, and you kind of defend up here and around Buffalo, and you hold this section, and you kind of give up a lot of the west and stuff like that, and you let them battle it out, and as soon as you see weakness, you, you pounce to grab any ounce of territory while you're building up supply. I love the AI does this. I set them on offensive, and they refuse to take anything. My man. Go on, take LA. Canada didn't seize New England, what the hell. Nope, there's a chance of them being able to do that, but the thing is, is that New England has been firmly in the USA, not the CSA hands for a long time. So that, that helped out a lot. Um, now what we can do is, I'm actually gonna start building dockyards because I very much would like to get some ships together later, considering I have no navy. That'd be good, I think. Yeah. Actually, you know what? That's actually not the best idea. We'll get one set of navy, but we really should be focusing on, on factories, shouldn't we? Yeah. There you go. We should be focusing on factories. Yeah, it ships later when a scar. Hey, what's up, man? Welcome back to the stream. Love to see you. And that's me for this episode, guys. Do be sure to leave me a like and a comment in the video. Let me know what you think of the series so far. I was Al Drunk at HB. This has been some hard to for Kaiser Reich playing the American Union State. Bye bye.